And a one big fat welcome from uh, Dan Litzman. Uh, today I'm going to um, quickly show you a good way to make money um, on your MacBook. Uh, okay, this is definitely what I don't normally do, so please bear with me. <laughs> um, but I thought since um, you know I, my bike's gone, broken for a little bit, I thought, well, I might as well just. Uh, uh, well, do this. <laughs> okay, so basically, I'm going to teach you how to do something called light coin mining, um, and how to do it on your Mac. Uh, basically, I'm using a MacBook Pro 13 inch, and first of all, um, I would recommend you download this program. Um, what this does is it's got SMV fan, fan control. What it does is it um, increases your speed of your um, your processor's fan, so it stops your um, MacBook bro uh, overheating. Now, to set it up, I usually I usually have two modes: I have a mining mode, so I'm mining something, and I have a high RPM for when I'm not. Um, so I can just change between them and then to keep moving the slider to change the um, fan speed. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way. This is a big warning. Um, why I've got a warning about uh, using a Mac Pro 13 inches that you can't mine with them all the time at all. You know, you're just going to over overheat the uh, CPU and cause damage to your Mac. <laughs> so, um, and another word, what I do, another thing to do in terms of temperature, is you see where it says 53 degrees here. Um, never let that go above 90. Um, or when it does go back above 90, please turn it into down and up. But I'll talk more about that in a second. Okay, so I use a program called SG Miner. Um, where I can find that? Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so you basically just all you've got to do is download it. SG Miner. It gives you this. I don't put anything in um, the command line, and it should open up this terminal. So it tells you to put your URL in. So I'm using WeMind LTC. Um, as you can quite plainly see, and this is what I've been mining. It's my account balance, <laughs> and this is my um, I'm pretty sure so I'm, I was mining until a minute ago. Just stopped it. Okay, so I'm in the U UK, but I'm seeing there's nothing in the EU, um, and I'm not not using ASIC. So you could either use, if you're not using an ASIC miner, um, you can use Worldwide, ser worldwide Server or Bot Bar 80. Or if you live in America, um, these relevant ones should be just as good. Um, I always use, I like to use these, this one. I get the most results with the Port 80 one. Uh, you can tell by the code which which spec specifies the port. Okay, so you copy and paste this out, and now you want to input, paste in the URL. Um, you put your miner in and password. Um, one thing about using passwords with miners is that keep it simple. You don't you're not losing anything uh, by keeping a small, simple password. Obviously, as long as it's not your mobile PIN or anything like that uh, sensitive. Um, and having some mind for you, if they do it for you, it's always a bit of a bonus. Um, okay, so once we've entered our username and password, we put enter, and it sets the difficulty to wherever it is, and you'll get this coming up. Um, it'll say poor difficulty, change 16, look problem like pool, and that's network difficulty, so all well and well. Um, for, and you've got these different settings like pool management, GP management, settings, display options, and quit. The only one you need to know is GPU management and quit. You don't have to worry about really any others there, self managed. So, okay, so this is a bit of a methodical pace at 6. Um, intensity is 8, which is. Now, intensity is how fast your device, your graphics cards, use running um, to do hashing with or your mining. Now, would I recommend. You can you, you can use your GPU, which I rec recommend, and you probably could download the CPU miner and um, mine CPU. But 
never do them at the same time because you're just going to freeze up your computer and obviously kill your expensive map, they're not cheap. <laughs> okay, so another sideline. Now back to the main course. Um, we just press the G to set our intensity. intensity, And it'll tell you, it'll give you three options. Enable, disable, start GPU, intensity, experimental intensity, or raw intensity. Now, the only ones I do know is just normal intensity. So I'll click I to set the intensity, and it'll give you a range from 8 to 31. Um, for this particular MacBook, what the i5 processor, 20, 2011 Mac, uh, no, I think it's 2012 Mac, uh, 2012 Mac, um, I would set it no more than 11. I always set it about 10 to begin with. Uh, but you probably might find that straight away you might have to reduce it to a 9 but anyway so you, um, you press the return button to set it and you press the return button again return back to the main menu or the main mining program and you'll see this hash rate start to creep up now and also this temperature so you want to keep an eye on so you basically you want to keep an eye on this temperature make sure it doesn't go over 90 and keep an eye on hash rate and that's all that really is to it. I mean, I can tell you that GF is when it fails to get work from the server. Um, I can tell you that's the block you're working on at the moment. Uh, the R is rejected. That's how many shares have been rejected by the server. Um, and the A is the accepted shares by the server. And a good thing about this is it will actually tell you um, how, what shares are accepted and how much the shares worth, as well as it telling you that you connect to a new pool or something else which once it's um, come up I shall tell you but while we're waiting for that I'm going to quickly say um, now after we've looked at um, the miner itself I'm going to speak to you quickly about um, things you've got to consider when you're mining on Mac Pro um, because obviously that's your main hash rate so it's not particularly very fast um, and yeah so basically um, that's what happens when it accepts a share the 8 is a difficulty share accepted and that's how many you've been accepted so for example with 10 shares at the um, at 8 difficulty and I think I'm getting it right I may be wrong um, ok so while we're doing that I'll, start, I'll quickly talk to you about um, so I've mined for about um, two months now and uh, not solid but I've near on and off and that's what I have so far uh, and you would definitely you'd be hard pressed to actually make proper money out of it in the short term um, now the best thing to use is use something called the stock well this kind of stock market which is the bitcoinwisdom.com fantastic website um, now what I recommend you do is look at Litecoin difficulty and how hard it is to mine a block um, now obviously Litecoin it's going to go um, and that is going to go up or down up and down up and down like a ragdoll and that's going to, this is going to continue to change I'm not sure if I remember how to ah aha ok I'm just going to quickly try do bear with me, I'm, <laughs> I'm still working this one out myself. You can use um, Bitcoin Wisdom to actually calculate the price um, of if, if it's going to be feasible for you. In the short term, it isn't going to be feasible for you. Let's face it, it's not. But um, long term, maybe when your difficulty goes up, which it's going to bound to be, when um, if you know about crypto coins, it's going to go up. Um, one's been yeah uh, so we can see how difficult is going up um, and the, the higher difficulty is is the more the harder it is to mine uh, litecoins um, so and as a result the you know the higher the difficulty it usually affects how much uh, money you get per litecoin so I would suggest doing your research um, don't always invest straight away make sure 
that you know what you're doing. Um, say it's a good long-term investment, but as a short-term investment like coins, you, um, it's not really worth it if you're mining as a hobby okay, on the Mac. Um, okay, so another good website. I tr and this actually I try and use to complement mining is this. Now, if you want to donate to me, that's my uh, Litecoin address. <laughs> Please be welcome if you want to uh, donate. Um, anyway, this is called a, a faucet. I think I'm not American, so you can't. Okay, so I've been, and all it is is uh, you put your Litecoin address in. Um, uh, bear with me, sorry, I did. And um, okay, so yeah, so you put your address in like so. It'll give you a capture, which is tie up and never up over. Okay, so if you've got your entity capture in, press submit, and you get basically you get free light coins, um, which is always hard to do as well as mining. You can be mining, uh, mining a lot, and this is this is the um. You already go to, um, and in order to get a payout, you have to pr you have to mine not you have to do answer not point not not one white coins in order to get a payout. Um, I've only got not point not point not not seven seven oh six oh seven five. Maybe I can't even speak today. Um, so yeah, you have to get that much in order to get a that's much you've got at the moment, and you have to get that much to get a payout. And every time you um, oh, and you capture in um, and put Litecoin, you get more and more um, of these. So you have to just keep it. And it's a bit long. It's a bit long winded. I've done it about twenty times and got <laughs> and I've only got this much. So, but so using this as well as mining on your map probably be a good way to increase your productivity. Productivity. Um, getting an ASIC pretty much a good idea as well. Um, I mean, MacBook Pro uses 60 watts of power in uh, this particular MacBook. Um, I wonder if it will actually tell me which. Uh, okay, this is the processor I have. Um, so this should be able to tell you um, a bit more about my Mac and what I use. Um, so, yeah, within reason, um, you probably could make money from it. It just takes bit of time um, to do um, yeah so I hope that was, I hope this, I hope this helps you guys and please donate to, um, if you want to donate to me and um, you you've got my uh, you've got my Litecoin address <laughs> um, so yeah thank you very much and 